Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be looking at some more AP Physics 1 problems. Uh, I'm switching over to the momentum section now. Um, we've been doing a lot of circular motion, we did a lot of energy before, and now we're going to be moving on to momentum. So these would be momentum-free response questions. As usual, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt to do the problem on your own, and then come back after you have attempted the problem. Okay, so let's take a look here. Several students are riding bumper cars at an amusement park. The combined mass of car A and its occupants is 250 kilograms. The combined mass of car B and its occupants is 200 kilograms. Car A is 15 meters away from car B and moving to the right 2 meters per second shown when the driver says to bump into car B, which is at rest. If car A accelerates at 1.5 meters per second squared to a speed of 5 meters per second and then continues at constant velocity until it strikes car B, Calculate the total time for car A to travel to 15 meters. Okay, so A is part A is actually a kinematic portion of the question. Um, it's a motion question, right? It's about. Um, sorry, let me just mute something. It's about uh, how far it takes to travel this. Now it's split into two parts. It's split into. Um, uh, the acceleration part when they're in the constant acceleration and then when they're in constant velocity so let's first see how far he travels under constant acceleration now there's two equations that relate position and velocity and acceleration there's the standard one which is delta x equals v naught t plus one half a t squared which you could use if you want because um yeah because you could figure out time um I guess it's what I would go ahead and use. His initial velocity is um, it's moving at 2 meters per second. I got to multiply by time. Now the time is the time it takes to accelerate up to 5 meters per second. So um, because he starts at 2 meters per second and he gets up to 5 meters per second, accelerating at 1.5 meters per second squared, let's write all that out acceleration is the change in velocity over time so the time it takes to reach which is sort of the initial is 5 minus 2 over t and we know that has to equal 1.5 and so that's t is equal to 5 minus 2 over 1.5 that's 3 over 1.5 or 2 seconds so it takes 2 seconds for him to go from 2 meters per second to 5 meters per second accelerating at uh, 1.5 meters per second squared so that's times 2 seconds, plus 1 half. Again, the acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared, times 2 seconds squared. So that's 4. That's 4 times 1 half. That's 2. 2 times that's 3. That's 7 meters. OK. So during the time of acceleration, he travels 7 meters. And it takes 2 seconds to go this 7 meters. OK. So he's got 8 more meters to go. Right, because he's, there's a total of 15 meters, so he traveled seven meters in the first two seconds. Um, then uh, to travel to eight meters, he's going at a constant five meters per second. So I divide by velocity, and and this is sort of the equation: uh, delta x is equal to v over t. So t is equal to um, v over delta x. Oh, I did that wrong. So, wait, no, no this is, over. it's like this, sorry. Delta x over t is velocity. Change in position over time is velocity. So t is equal to um, delta x over v. Okay, so that's what this is. This t is equal to this. And this is gonna be um, 1.6 seconds. So the total time it takes to travel the entire 50 meters is 3.6 seconds. Two seconds up here, two plus 1.6. So this is 3.6 seconds for part A. Part B, after the collision, car B moved to the right at a speed A of 4.8 meters per second. Calculate the speed of car A after the collision. Now, in this collision, um, in all collisions, as long as there's no outside force, you know momentum has to be conserved. That's the conservation of momentum. As long as there's no external forces between these two cars, like friction or, or something else that's pushing on these things, then their momentum has to be the same before and after. So let's calculate the momentum before. The, um, the momentum 
which is usually use at this the um, before the collision, you use the, usually use the letter P for momentum, is the mass times velocity of each of the objects. So it's the mass of A, which is 250 kilogram, times his velocity. And uh, this guy is the mass of this guy, but he's not moving yet, right? He's at rest. So that one's zero. So his momentum, the total momentum of the two cars before is 500 kilogram meters per second. Okay. Now the momentum after is again has to be 250 kilogram times whatever velocity A is going at plus 200 kilograms times the velocity of B, and this is 4.8 meters per second. Okay. And I know all of this has to be the same momentum. The momentum before and the momentum after have to be the same. So this has to equal four, 500 kilograms meters per second. Okay. Uh, so this times this. Um, yeah, I think I did that right. Um, 4.8, that's 800. This is 960. So then I got to subtract this over here. Uh, 250. VA is equal to 500 minus 960. What's that? Uh, negative 460. And so VA is equal to negative 460 over 250. Um, I'm going to use my calculator for that. Minus 1.84 meters per second. Now what's what's the let's calculate what the let's see what the question is. Calculate the speed. Speed is the magnitude of velocity, so um, his speed is 1.84 meters per second. Speed's always positive. But which one is the motion is the velocity tells me because this is negative, and in my convention I had used right to as positive. Negative means they're going to the left. The second question is: Is this an elastic collision? Now, this is tricky for some people because some people are taught that elastic collision means that um, I simply, if, if it sticks or it doesn't stick, and that's how you decide between elastic and not inelastic. The definition of an elastic collision is the energy before has to equal the energy after. That means there is no loss of energy during the collision. Let's look at the energy before. Before, the, the only energy this has is kinetic energy. So the U from before the energy um, is one half 250 kilogram. It's one half mv squared, two meters per second squared. So this is the energy that there was there before. 0. 0.5 times 250. And there's, this guy has no kinetic energy initially because he's at rest, so his velocity is zero. Times two squared is uh, 500 joules. The u after is one half 250 kilograms times negative 1.84 meters per second squared plus one half like this the kinetic energy of this guy because he's moving to the left and it's the kinetic energy of this guy it's one half times 200 kilograms times 4.8 meters per second squared oh it's not two oh Dude, he's moving at 5 meters per second. I don't know why I thought 2. 2 is his initial. He actually ends up at 5. Um, so I, I messed up the math here. Uh, this should have been 5. and showed though, So this should have been um, 1250. This should have been 1250. Is that 250 times? Yes, yeah, that's, that's 250. Uh, let's just do some corrections. Uh, 1250 minus 960. I was going to say the number is going to turn out really weird. Uh, 290. So this is uh, 290. This is actually positive. 290 divided by 250 is 1.16. So this should be 1.16 meters per second. And it's actually not to the left, it's to the right because the velocity is positive now. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so let's compute this one again. The U before. 5 squared times 250 times 0.5, I get 3125 joules. And then this is 1.16, and everything else is right. So then I just 250 times 1.16 squared 
plus 0.5 times 200 times 4.8 squared, I get 2472.2 joules. Okay. So you see the energy before and the energy after are not the same. So this is an not this is an inelastic collision because the energy is not conserved. So no, it is not elastic because the energy before is not equal to the energy after. Okay. All right. Uh, hope you found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.